material construction, MOC, uh, it depends on the chemicals that you will be used for your plant that's contacting the walls of that equipment. Uh, Sandler and the Wicks and Table 7.9 actually came up with the process in order to do this. They listed uh, various different types of chemical components. Each column they had different types of steel materials and alloys such as nickel and titanium and they would place an A, B, C, N or just leave it blank for neither where uh, not enough information was available in order to determine which type of material would be best for that type of chemical inside your plant. Also in determining MOCs it depends on operating temperature and pressure which will also affect the cost of your MOC that is being purchased. For if you decide to use carbon, which would be the lowest, uh, instead of using nickel, which is probably the highest, which can be seen in table 7.10 of your book. Algorithm for calculating bare module cost is a six-step algorithm in order to determine this. The first step would be to obtain a CCP, which is your equipment cost for your desired piece of equipment. Uh, you can use figures 8.1 through 8.17 in appendix A in the back of your book to do this. Uh, the second step would be to find a correct relationship bare module factor. This would be done by using equation 8.4 equation 8 seen below where your CB sub M is your module factor. Uh, you would multiply your cost of equipment multiplied by the bare module factor where you wouldn't know your F piece of M so you would have to multiply your uh, C sub piece of O by B1 plus B2 which are just normal constants multiplied by your material factor times your pressure factor and once you do that you'll use uh, table 8.4 to help you out. The third step would be to find the pressure factor from using equation 8.2 and 8.3 and also table 8.2 in the back of your book. As Jim has showed, this is another pressure factor. Uh, your piece would be your, actually your pressure, and your D would be your vessel diameter for equation 8.2 and 8.3. You, after finding your F of P, you would want to find your construction material factor F of M. This would be used by 8.4, shown here. Once you find your F of P, you can find your F of M because you already know your uh, price of equipment factor, your C, C of P. And using it, you also use uh, equation 8.4, table 8.3, and figure 8.18. Next, you will find your bare module factor, F, B sub M. This is done by using table 8.6 and figure 8.19. Then you would calculate your bare module cost, C sub B sub M, from equation 7.6. And then you will update that cost using equation 7.4. Next, they talked about how to calculate grass roots and total module costs. Grass roots are basically where uh, construction started on undeveloped land to build a new facility, which would be your plant. Total module cost is making small to moderate expansions to that existing facility, such as if Sequoia wanted to add a new building or a new reactor to their plant site, and that would be added into the total module cost. Uh, these additional costs, uh, grassroots and total module costs, you have to add additional costs, such as contingency fee costs and auxiliary uh, facility costs. Contingency fee costs, these are very depending on the reliability of your cost data and actually uh, the completeness of your process flow diagram. 15% to 3% will be added to your bare module costs, and this will uh, give you your total module costs for this. That 15% and 3% will come from your contingency fee costs. Or your contingency, excuse me, your contingency costs. The auxiliary facility costs will include developments, uh, new developments, auxiliary buildings, on and off-site buildings, and also uh, new utilities that are being added to your facility. Uh, 
points, Miller in the book, 20% to more than 100% of your bare module costs are used for these auxiliary facility costs, but it's assumed to be equal to just 50% to the bare module costs, where you would add basically 50% of that cost to the bare module cost using base conditions, and that would give you your grassroots costs. So in conclusion, we have went over different capital cost techniques to use in building a new plant or existing plant. Uh, we also went over equipment module estimates, material construction on bare module costs, and we have also talked about how these estimates will, estimate accuracy will also increase within time given for the plant. And that's it.